this is boring. Why is it boring? I'm ovulating today. I have to do this. If we don't, how do I get pregnant? That's why it's boring. But we have to keep trying. Smells like medicine. My mom's got me Chinese medicine. Last time it wasn't so smelly, but this time it tastes so awful. Still drinking that. Does it work? Even if your sweat smells like that stuff now? Does it? Why can't I smell it? Smell it. Just smell it yourself. It doesn't. You're used to it. You can't smell it. Do you think it's easy for me, drinking something so bitter every day? I have to hold my nose when I drink it. My mom said this stuff really works. Hmm. I wouldn't be surprised if we had twins. <laughs> I'm not that optimistic. It's good enough that we can have the one baby. <laughs> I better go. <sighs> Don't torture me in the morning again. Makes me too tired at work all day. After I get pregnant, you can banish me to a cold palace. Thank you for your labor. Mm. Have a good day. Mm. Don't stay at work too long. <laughs> uh, stop it. That's bad. Really bad. Where's that from? Whose is it? Why don't you find out and tell me tonight? Okay? <laughs> See you. Is this Yu Xiaochang's house? You the computer repairman? Yeah. Let me see your ID. My number is 007. I hope I can be of service to you. Come on in. How's it going? All done. That fast? It was nothing serious. Your fan was just really dirty. It had a lot of dust on it. Dust creates a lot of static and makes computers short circuit. I cleaned it up. Be careful when you use it next time. How much? Total's 200. Sign your name here and we're good. I brought you some tea. Ah, thanks. Eh, this tea's from my hometown. Where are you from? Anhui. It's only been 10 minutes and charge me 200? Can you give me some extra service? Please. I'm a craftsman, not a masseuse. Aren't you classy? I meant check my computer again and see if there are any other problems. Fine, fine. Middle-aged women are so needy. What'd you say? 
I said the customer is God. Can you speak louder, please? How about this? Let me optimize your system for you and see if there are any viruses. I'll scan your hard drive. Can I do the scanning by myself? How should I know if you can do it? Then you can teach me. It's actually very easy. Look, you can just use the system's own software. Just click right here. Click where? Here. You try it. Right there? Yeah. This thing really does have some viruses. Huh. <laughs> you know, miss, I didn't think you'd be into this. There's a lot of viruses on these websites. I wouldn't visit them if I were you. Should I delete this for you? Don't touch it! <sighs> I'm gonna file a complaint against you. Why would you do that? You were the one that spilled the tea. It was your tea. If you had drank it, I wouldn't have spilled it, would I? Can you be reasonable? Women are never reasonable. Where are you going? To get a hair dryer. <laughs> Mom? Eh? You're back. Uh huh. Come on! Could you hurry up? Who's that? Computer repairman. I spilled some water on the computer. I'm grabbing the hairdryer. Uh. How much longer will this take? Huh? I said, how much longer will it take? Can't hear you. What did you say? I said, how much longer will it take? I'm not in any rush. Why are you so nervous? You know the guy in the picture? No, I don't. Then why'd you get so irritated? I said there was a virus in the file. Why not just delete it? Can you make sure that you can recover everything after it dries out? Can you guarantee a woman gets pregnant after marriage? What do you mean? That's what you asked. What do you mean? That's exactly what you asked. How do you know I can't get pregnant? I didn't know that. I'm sorry, I didn't know. And I'm sorry to hear that. You're 007. Yeah? Tell me who you really are. Huh? Are you a computer repairman? I'm a computer blower. Xiaochang, come downstairs. Okay. Mom, you need me? Uh. It's still not done? Should we get someone else to fix it? It's fine. It's almost done. Here. Tomorrow. Go get some meds. With this recipe, okay? Why again? Hey. Didn't you tell me it's too bitter? I went to see Dr. Zhang after morning exercise and had him write you a new prescription. He told me that this one, really good, doesn't smell. So that's another 
three months of treatment again. Three months is fine, but what if I still can't get pregnant after this? Don't get frustrated. Have confidence in yourself, okay? Think about it. If we have a kid in this family, things will be perfect. We'll have everything. Just be patient, okay? Let's not rush it. Okay, Mom. As long as it works, I'll drink anything. Uh, so, I should get going. How much do I owe you for everything? Uh, forget it. This is free. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Miss, uh, this is my business card. It's got my phone number and email on it. The next time, if you have any problems with your computer, you can call me. If it's not through the company, I can give you half off. Half price. virus isn't that big of a deal. Just delete it and it's gone. I should go. here. You said you were busy working. I'm tired. <sighs> Why are you so tired? Not sleeping? I'm mentally drained. It's not easy for a working man out there these days. Don't work too hard. It's your own body. It hurts to see you like this. Hmm. Maybe one day, huh? This thing stops working. And that's fine. It solved everything. Hmm. Stop saying that. I want you in full health. Hmm. I'll go get you some slippers. Nah, don't move. Let me hold you a while. Ah, I love being right here. Relaxed. Comfortable. No, no, don't. It's a new shirt. Don't worry. I got you a new one, and it's exactly the same. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> okay, then do what you want. Knock yourself out. <laughs> You're also mine. I'll do whatever I want. Mm, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
You going out? Oh, Mom, I'm taking some lunch to Guangyao. Why are you taking lunch to him today? I wanted to see him at work. Doesn't he normally feed himself at the office? You take him lunch out of the blue, you're not afraid you'll get laughed at? Is this a lunch delivery or a surprise inspection? Oh, oh Mom, I left lunch for you on the table. You don't have to wait for me. Hey, are you two doing okay? We're fine. I'm leaving now. Ah. Hmm. Well, I don't think they're doing okay. Here, to our 100th day, cheers. <laughs> cheers. A hundred days. That's more than three months. Time really does fly. <laughs> but I... I don't know how long this will really last. Will you get tired of me one day? How could I? To be honest, every time I'm with you, I feel so relaxed and so happy. But I, every time I see you, I feel like it's the last time. You don't feel safe with me. My fault. No more of that. You know what I want to do right now? What is it? I want to give you a kiss. <laughs> We're in public. Low key. Stay low key. <laughs> <laughs> then tell me, what am I to you right now? Your girlfriend? Or lover? Intimate friend. Intimate friend. I think I like that term. <laughs> A real man dies for his friends. <laughs> okay. Cheers. I haven't been here for a while. Seems like there's a lot of new faces around. How is everything? Hmm? Is everything okay? Are you asking about me? About the company? Or about Liu Guangyao? You tell me. Hmm... Business here is booming. I didn't realize you're actually a good wife. <laughs> I can tell you that I have noticed Liu Guangyao hasn't been eating lunch in the office lately. Where does he go? How would I know where he goes? Do you think he's seeing another woman? Come on. Don't jump to conclusions. Hey, did you find something fishy? Usually a man's wife is the last one to know of this kind of thing. Oh, come on. Don't worry. Instead of guessing here, you should go and see Dr. Jean already. I'm telling you, my mom said that Dr. Jean is the best at treating infertility. He even has a nickname. Um, what was it? Uh, oh, Jean the Holy Hand. You've been married for seven years already, and you still haven't been Shh. able to... Shut up. Eat your food. How long have you been married? Seven years. Ah. We've been using birth control before. Now we really want to have a baby, but I just can't seem to get pregnant. And I've had a lot of physical exams. And I'm even taking Chinese medicine. But nothing's working. You're the famous Jin the Holy Hand. I just really want to know, is there hope for me? Well, it doesn't seem like there are any major problems. You do have an endocrine disorder. You'd better stop taking those folk remedies and herbal medicines, okay? Yeah? Start taking care of your body. Oh. And bring your husband in next time. He should get a checkup too. Oh, okay. Ah. Thank you, Dr. Jin. <laughs> Wow, son, hmm. you look great, <laughs> really. Fashion vanguard, hmm. so fancy. This old lady here really knows something. 
new fashion star, Liu Guangyao. <laughs> this article makes you sound amazing. Started from nothing. I'm so proud of you, son. <laughs> hey, Xiao Qing, Xiao Qing, come here, come here. Oh. <laughs> Hurry. Look, that's my son. <laughs> they put him on the cover, huh? He's worked pretty hard to earn this. You think that's easy? No, it's not easy. Come upstairs. We need to talk. Just tell me you're here. Let's talk upstairs. I'll be right back. <laughs> what is it? Why are we up here? Sit down first. So mysterious. <laughs> ah, so, what is it? I went to the hospital today. Mm. I met the best gynecologist, Jin the Holy Hand. Ah. He said my body is perfectly fine. As long as we keep trying, he said there's still a chance. Oh, that's good. And? Hmm. He said you'd better go and have a checkup too. Why should I go? I'm not going. Why don't you want to go? I'm perfectly fine. What makes you so sure about that? It's not our first time getting checked out. Unless you've been trying with someone else. Yu Xiaoqiang, again with this. Aren't you sick of bringing this up? Why are you so annoyed? What did I do? You think I'm not aware. You went to my office again today. That's right. I went to bring you lunch. I didn't expect that you wouldn't be there. So where'd you go? Should I report to you wherever I go? Huh? I went to a meeting. Listen, Yu Xiaoqiang. I hate it when family visits the office, and you know that. You watch over me like a hawk watching a mouse. Do you enjoy this? Very much so. And why is that? I care about your career and life. Isn't that obvious? You can drop the act. You've got Fang Fang here. Why don't I give her a job at my company? Don't you just want her to watch over me? Darling, why worry if you have nothing to hide? If you've really not done anything wrong, then there's nothing for you to worry about. Ah, do whatever you want. I'm going to take a shower. The eighth. The eighth. Oh, I remember. On the beach. Company get together. Why are you looking at me like that? I left you a note telling you. I'll go get it for you. Read them to yourself. I've got the notes for the whole year. Find it. I'm sorry, I forgot. What do you mean with all this? Huh? You should see your face. Are you really this crazy? If you spend half the energy on having a baby as you do on this, forget the twins. We would be having octuplets. I still have to ask. Stop asking. I don't want to answer. I worked all damn day and I'm tired. Just leave me alone, okay? My God.
know her? Lanshin, the new designer who started three months ago. But the designers here were all guys before. Oh, come on. That was before. Hey, Lanshin is 32 and single. I mean, young women should want to get married as soon as possible, you know? Because once you turn 30, you're just not that attractive anymore. Where did you get this photo? It was on my computer. I found it when someone was fixing it. He said it's a virus. Damn right this is a virus! I didn't know that little hussy was after your husband! Xiao Chang, you know what? You've got to kill this virus good and dead! In office romance like this, it's a bomb ready to explode. It is a bomb ready to explode. People find out about these things. But with only this picture, I don't think he'll admit anything about having an affair. Men will lie to you up and down and swear they aren't having an affair. That's why you have to catch them in bed. Catch them in bed? Why would I do that? I don't want a divorce. Ever since I got married, all I've cared about is his family. I never thought that he would cheat on me. The first time I saw this photo, I mean, I just, I was just blindsided. I just didn't know what to do. I know, dear. Family is the most important thing to you. But you just can't let something like this go on, can you? I have to protect my marriage, no matter what it takes. Right. No matter what, that woman should go to hell. <laughs> oh, don't cry. <laughs> Still here? Uh, leaving right now.
stairs. Water's leaking from my ceiling. Can I come in and have a look? I think you should come with the property. You can't wear these. Okay. So where do you think of coming from? Master bedroom. Oh, give me just a minute. Let me go clean up the bathroom first. Thank you. I'll go find the property manager. Oh, you're welcome. I know you. You're 07, the computer repairman. What's wrong with you? You fixed my computer. I spilled your tea on it and you dried it with a hairdryer. I was that lady. Why are you dressed up like some kind of ghost? You live here too? Uh-huh. You live on the eighth floor? Yeah. We're here. Uh... It's beeping. What the hell's your problem? 
Oh my god, luckily my girlfriend isn't here. If she saw this, I'd never hear the end of it. Now get out of here! You gonna go or not? I'll call the police if you don't leave! <sighs> what the? <sighs> what are you? <sighs> Why are you crying? <sighs> I get it. I know why you've come for me. Miss... I swear to you, about the stuff I saw at your house, I just want you to know I would never tell anyone. How about we put it in writing? Do you have a room you're renting out? Yeah, I was putting up ads down there. You scared me so bad in the elevator that I dropped my brush and spilled my glue everywhere. You can stop writing. That thing wouldn't be legally binding anyway. I want to rent your room. Who are you renting it for? For myself. Are you kidding me? You're living in that big house. Why do you want to rent my crappy room? To store some things. To store what things? I obey the law. I'm not doing anything illegal. Don't worry. I have a clothing business. And you know what? My husband's having an affair, and we're about to get a divorce. So I'm thinking... I'll separate my business from my husband's company, and then just run it by myself. So I need to find a place where I can store my inventory and keep it safe. Do you really have a clothing company? Just wait a minute. This is my ID. You can keep a copy of it. Please don't worry. You're not the only one who obeys the laws. How could I tell you are with all that makeup? Do you sell men or women's clothes? Women's clothing. Is what you're wearing some of your own stuff? All of it is. Oh, so you went on a catwalk today or something? And that's nice makeup. Pretty modern. Over there. That's my girlfriend. She's pretty and has a great body. I think she'd look pretty good in your clothes. Next time, if you have some new stuff, could you give her some? <laughs> it doesn't have to be new. No, it's okay. She can choose from our new designs every season. You know, I don't think there'll be any problem renting to you, but that price I wrote on the poster was for a place to live. I can offer you a price for storage. How much do you want? I was thinking at least 1500 to 2000 I'll give you 3000 I Let me show you the room. I don't need to see it. Hey, you're taking a lot of faith here. All right, don't worry. You can trust me. How about this? I think the room's too small. I have a balcony here. I don't ever really use it. You can put your clothes out here. Let me show you. Come here, come here. The balcony is pretty big. I usually don't put things out here. The best part is the way it faces. It looks out to the southwest, so it gets a lot of sunlight in the afternoon. If you put clothes here, you won't like humidity, right? That won't be such a problem here. Oh, right. I almost forgot. Unfortunately, it's too close to the balcony next door, and there's a block of stone in the middle, so it's easy to climb over it. I, I won't climb over it. I swear I obey the law. Show
生命中的相遇，是缘来又缘去。你是否会在意我孤单的美丽？岁月慢慢老去，是否还来得及？说一声在一起，真的不容易。爱情的故事有悲也有喜，只要有你陪我在这里。生活在继续，难免有风雨，幸福就是相伴走下去。要再分离，爱到底，无论以后在哪里，为了幸福，我们爱。永远不会再。